In modern health systems, laboratories are the gateway to the management and treatment of priority diseases. And for some patients, timely diagnosis and monitoring can be the difference between life or death. I know many of you are laboratory professionals and will agree. All people everywhere, regardless of nationality, income, age, or location, deserve medical care that is informed by appropriate and reliable testing. Lab systems should never be a bottleneck to the delivery of high quality patient care. Yet across much of Africa, national health systems do not yet have the capacity to meet the full demand for patient care. It's created every day by the continent's high disease burden. As we work in partnership to strengthen these health systems, we need to prioritize lab systems that ensure availability of testing, the reliability of these services. And we also need to implement internationally recognized quality standards. Our common humanity requires common standards. Accreditation is an important means to evaluate laboratory performance, focus improvement planning, set achievement goals, and recognize competence, quality, and reliability. It promotes a culture that values commonly recognized standards, ongoing assessment, and accountability. WHO AFRO's stepwise approach to accreditation and the Strengthening Laboratory Management Toward Accreditation Training Program will provide support and guidance to accelerate the path toward these important goals. I'd like to thank the WHO for its commitment to strengthening lab systems globally and WHO AFRO for organizing this event and for demonstrating their leadership in accreditation for medical labs in Africa. My foundation is proud to support WHO AFRO in this effort, alongside the CDC and the American Society for Clinical Pathology. Together we can build a future where laboratories are well managed, provide high quality testing, produce reliable and timely results, where staff morale is high, money is not wasted, and the standard of patient care bolsters the health of our global community. Thank you.